The mayor kicked off what he's calling Affordability Week inside this bed High School. He's going around highlighting programs and initiatives that he believes will make the city more livable. And when I asked him point blank if this was a calibration following the last election, he said, absolutely. What happens when you finish? You're able to do what? Maybe to know how to turn lights on. <laughs> Inside the Boys and Girls High School, Cameron Williams and his classmates showed Mayor Eric Adams how they're learning to cut it after high school. <laughs> all because of intensive training programs they've been offered. A couple years ago, did you know what your future held? No, nah, a couple years ago, I didn't know what my future held. From taking this class, you should already know what to do after high school, because it's like, you're doing this for, you're doing this, you know what I'm saying? So you should be wanting to do this at the high school. It's part of the Mayor's Future Ready program, which as of this year has expanded up to 135 high schools and added two new job training tracks, including the lucrative field of HVAC installation. It is expensive to live in the city. Uh, when you have a good paying job, it can put you on that pathway to the affordability issue. So we wanted to start here. In fact, the mayor says he'll be highlighting programs all week he says should make the city more affordable. But I asked him directly if this is because voters were so critical of his Democratic Party during the November election. Yep, that's what we heard. We heard it over and over again. You know, uh, we, we sat down and we analyzed the results of the election. What were people asking for? What was important to them? And this is one of the items. We're still working to find out what other affordability initiatives the mayor will be highlighting this week, but it's safe to say housing will be front and center this coming Thursday when the city council is expected to pass the mayor's signature housing affordability plan known as City of Yes. In Bed-Stuy, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.